introducing Julia Bartrop, who is a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. She has a Bachelor of Applied Science in Chinese Medicine and Human Biology, which is a double degree from RMIT. Julia has been practicing Chinese medicine for two years at a clinic and privately and is available for consultations. Welcome, Julia. Great to be here. How would you describe what you do? I use acupuncture, cupping and Chinese herbal medicine to rebalance a person's body. What can a person expect at their first consultation with you? So in regards to a treatment, I would sit down with the patient and ask them questions all about their health, so not just the initial complaint. We would go into things like diet, stress, um, energy levels. Once I've asked the questions, I would then feel a patient's pulse, which tells us what's going on in the body, and then I would ask to see their tongue as well. So basically, I just ask the patient to poke out their tongue and I will observe what their tongue looks like. So colour, shape, size, any cracks, their moisture, etc. What do you like about what you do? I like to see my patients floating out the door feeling a lot more relaxed and definitely with a smile on their face and a completely different person from when they first walked in the door. And that happens quite often? Very often. What education, schooling or skills are needed to become an acupuncturist? So we need five years of study, which is actually a degree, and we need about a thousand hours of clinical practice before we're actually even able to graduate. We need palpation skills. You need to be able to feel the areas on the skin and indents, and you actually need to be pretty nimble with your fingers to be an acupuncturist. What is the most challenging about what you do? I'd have to say in the area of fertility patients. Why? Just because, you know, the hype of trying to get pregnant and all the emotion which you, you invest in those patients, you're there on the journey with them as they're trying to get pregnant. And then if they do get pregnant and they end up having a miscarriage, you feel their heartbreak, you're in tears with them. It's just really hard for you and hard for them. So, but also chronic pain patients as well. What is the most rewarding? So being able to give a person tools to empower their health so that they have improved health and vitality. What is a common misconception people might have about what you do? Basically that we don't need a degree to practice, so however we do and we have to be licensed in Australia. The other misconception is that all we do is practice hocus pocus. I didn't even know that that was an actual um, medicine, hocus pocus. <laughs> What are the benefits of Chinese medicine? So basically when we use acupuncture it actually brings your whole system back into balance or realignment and from there you can in, in have improved sleep, anxiety can be reduced, your energy levels can be increased, pain can be reduced as well. Overall it just resets the body and then basically we use herbal medicine to reinforce what we're doing with the acupuncture. What is an easy way to incorporate Chinese medicine into our everyday lives? I'd have to say by drinking herbal tea, which is prepared by someone like myself, who's a qualified Chinese medicine herbalist. Uh, teas that we can give you can be to improve sleep, digestion, increase energy, even sexual performance. That's always handy. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so other ways is if after a heavy workout, if you've got aches and pains and your legs feel heavy, you can just relax in the Epsom salt bath. And that also aids sleep as well. Sounds like we all need some of that. Thanks for talking with me today, Julia. Um, I've really enjoyed finding out more about Chinese medicine and about what you do. Thanks, Nix. We'll put Julia's contact details at the end, so go check out her website. She's got all her teas that she makes, and yeah, if you want to know more, then please do contact her.